gonna show you how to make my quick and easy pork and beans dip up next on Cooking with Joe Lane. I'll be right back. She's bringing the trailer park lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park, she's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker. Hi there Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugar Baker, the Trailer Park Queen. And welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. And welcome to another edition of my cooking show, Cooking with Joe Lane, the trailer park cooking show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and, you know, do it the trailer park way. You know, I know y'all are running around this summer going to barbecues and potlucks and family reunions and, you know, you're supposed to take a covered dish or snack food to be nice. And, you know, I've been making a quick and easy dip in my live cooking classes and I thought this would be the perfect thing to show you to take with you to, you know, these events that are happening this summer. And you know what it's made with? It's made with pork and beans right out of the can. Yes, that's right. I'm going to show you how to make my quick and easy pork and beans dip. Up next on Cooking with Joe Lane. I'll be right back. You'll need the following ingredients to make my pork and beans dip. One can pork and beans. One fourth cup molasses. Two tablespoons of prepared mustard. Two tablespoons of Dick's mayo. Montreal steak seasoning by McCormick. One small onion. Garlic powder. Black pepper. Hot sauce if you like it hot. Tortilla chips. Here's how you put it together. Welcome back. Making the pork and beans dip is really simple and all you need is one of the little mini choppers. I mean you can mash it on your own but this is so fast and easy. All you do is take the pork and beans, open it up, and pour it into the processor just like that. Now, I've taken a small onion and already chopped it up, and I'm going to just pour the chopped up onion right on into the processor, just like that. Now, I like the flavors of garlic in there, so I'm going to just add about a teaspoon of garlic powder in there, and the molasses, we're going to add one fourth cup of the molasses. Molasses smells nice and dark and lovely and this is made uh, from the sugar uh, process it's left over from it and it's uh, mostly used in cooking you probably wouldn't pour this over your pancakes it's very dark and pour that in there just like that and we're going to use about two teaspoons of actually two tablespoons of the prepared mustard here two tablespoons there we go and I'm going to use two tablespoons of the Duke's Mayo. There we go. I really like using the Duke's Mayo. It's just the best mayo ever. And two tablespoons of the Duke's Mayo go right on in there. And the Montreal Steak Seasoning, I like it a little bit spicy. I'll use about a teaspoon of that into the processor along with about a teaspoon of the black pepper into there just like that and we'll take the lid and we'll pop it on just like that now I probably could have added some hot sauce or maybe some seasoning salt or if you like it Mexican maybe some adobo spice or maybe some onion flakes um, you can really make it to your taste if you uh, if you really like uh, spicy things. Go ahead and spice it up, but this is how I like it. I'm going to go ahead and blur it. There you go. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen, but we're 
I'm just gonna go in here and uh, just mix it all around there. Um, so you get a nice uh, beanie uh, consistency. There we go. It's almost done. Now while that's mixing, you can move things around and get ready for the plating presentation. There we go. That can just fall on the floor too. There we go. really good in there. I can't wait to try it. There we go. And I'm just going to take it there. And I've got a nice little plate presentation here. I'm going to pour it right on into the middle there. And I have got some little round tortilla chips we can serve that all around the bottom there now this would be good at a potluck or a family reunion or something like that you can take that with you or even one of those little office luncheons y'all are having all the time I mean really I'm, they won't guess the the ingredient that you made with it pork and beans can you imagine that I can't wait to try it It's sweet and smoky and has the bite of the mustard and the, the Montreal steak seasoning. It's really good and I think you should make it and it's so simple to make and a can of pork and beans. How much is that? That's so simple. Mm. I hope you get a chance to make it. Tune in next time where I show you again how to do it the Trailer Park way. I'm Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen. Visit me on the web at JoleneSugarbaker.com. I love you. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Bye. pride in the double wide. Visit my store at trailerparkstore.com.